Oh, there's nothing on TV. Shouldn't you be making a video? So to start, we're going to start over on the Republic side. So over here we have a downed ATTE. So this is right after the AAT has launched its attack over here. So I kind of, I, I, I get that the white and the white kind of blend out. And I was going to use some dark and light gray to kind of accent that. But then that just matches with the, a, the ATTE itself. So I tried using a little bit of black to kind of simulate, but I really don't think it did its justice and it's just a shame that it matches the white so well that you can't really see it but I think it turned out kind of good I guess it's a very unique way I've never seen anyone do kind of smoke and explosion with those kind of pieces so that's kind of why I wanted to do it and I feel like that's the best way to get it across unfortunately it kind of blends in with the rest of the mock so that's kind of something I had to take into consideration but I ended up Leaving at that and putting a little bit of white or black uh, plates on top, as you can see here. But other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I just ended up. This is a brick vault A or ATT, um, and I just disconnected the front and rear from the center chunk, and then basically kind of just set them down. Um, I ended up disconnecting the the leg over here to make that look good. Kind of look like it's blown off or kind of tilted on its side, as you can see. I think that makes it look pretty cool um, as an explosion as it's kind of caved in behind this trench. And we got some troops underneath there. We got three troops just kind of uh, taken out by the explosion. And then we have the trench right here where you have Kanan or Caleb Doom and Dune in this, uh, in this uh, time frame. So he is about to slide into the trench. We have a gunner right here shooting out the enemy droids out here. And then next to him, we have Depla Balaba, and then we have um, Captain Gray. I want to call him Commander Gray because that's what I've called him for years, but his name is now uh, Captain Gray. Uh, got demoted. And then there's just another clone here, just chilling with him. And then we got some troops running up as they are outnumbered, so they're falling all over the place. And there's dead clones all over the place. And then over here, we have another trench. We have a guy that's been taken out. He's just kind of dead right there. <laughs> And then we have these two troopers here hoisting up with their uh, rifles off to the side, but hoisting up this one guy so he can get a clear shot with his rocket launcher towards the front of this and hopes to take out a good chunk of them. Unfortunately, they have attacked just as fast, so right here we have an explosion. There is a crater underneath there that kind of was created from the explosion, but here is just the aftermath of the clone trooper getting flung from where he was originally posted. And then right here, probably about to feel some of that fire and explosion. And the recoil is another clone posted on top of his fellow trooper that is down. He was just checking out and making sure he's okay. But he is, ah, it's unknown what his uh, status is right here. He is unconscious at least. Um, and then right here we have another clone just kind of running over. Kind of seeing out of the corner of his eye the explosion and knowing that he's probably not going to make it. But he also has some optimistic look as you see the Bad Batch kind of flowing down from the hill. So if you guys remember, there is a rock they flung down. And I did not remember this until I just rewatched it before I set up all these droids and everything. So we got this rock that kind of came, would have came from here, moved the trees aside as it rolled down the hill and take out a bunch of droids here. As you can see a bunch of them laid down and more to become to the same fate as their other brethren's. Um, so we had a couple of droids that kind of lined up. I tried to simulate a pretty accurate battle as they were taking just as many numbers as the clones. However, they have way more troops. Some that get on a better level, I guess, here. So kind of get a cool shot right here. I'm using just some 1x2 plates for their backpacks in the back. I had an abundance of those from my Tatooine mock. So I figured I would uh, slap those on there as they look pretty accurate. Um, as accurate as you can get without using kind of custom parts and whatnot. 
So we got some droids back here, and we have the A or A A T's. I'm, <laughs> so many complicated uh, letter combinations, but uh, we have the commander here that is a uh, yelling fire. If you can remember the uh, homage to that episode where that commander yells that same command to uh, take out the A T or A A T. Sorry, the A T T E <laughs> over there. And on this uh, A A A T. There is a commander, or I don't know if these are the commander or gunner droids, but he's a different uh, color scheme as the others, as well as his tank is a little bit slightly different. So these are brick vault um, tanks as well, but this one I ran, it out of, ran out of parts, so I ended up using a little bit of accent dark gray or dark tan, and I think it kind of looks pretty good, uh, complements the rest of it. As in the show, there are a little bit more dark gray than what they show here, so... I think that did okay, and it looks average, but that's why I kind of have it in the back, as this is the better one here. Focusing over here on the Bad Batch themselves, so this is kind of the cliffside that they have slid down, or slid down, I should say. Got some cool techniques to get some very unique kind of slopes and whatnot. First up, we have Bad Batch, or Bad Batch. First up, we have tech over here sliding down in the rear of the uh, kind of convoy he is blasting two different cl er, droids here almost said clones we have echo over here he just took down one of these droids with his mechanical hand and he is about to blast or has already blasted this droid right here as more are coming hunter is slashed an arm off and about to slash the head off of this droid as he's blasting this droid right here that is right behind Wrecker, as Wrecker is just kind of doing what he does best and taking down droids by brute force. As you can see, multiple of the droids are getting ready to fire, trying to take him out. Unfortunately, they will meet their demise. So that is kind of the figure placement. I almost forgot to crosshair is up here. He's posted here. Kind of, It's really hard to get a very kind of accurate slope to where he's kind of sloped down to take out these... Uh, AATs, but he is also up there posted just like in the episode. That's a custom figure. If you want to check out how I make him, there's a video on my channel to figure out how to make him, so that's cool. And that's about all the figures here. We have a couple secret ones in here, but we'll get to those later. Next, I'd like to focus on the architecture of the, I guess, the mountain and scape of the hill as well as the trees and whatnot. It is very hard to fit this uh, all in one camera as it is a very large monk, but I tried to make as much greebling as possible as this cliffside. It's not very tall, so I had a lot more parts to use, so I could really kind of, I guess, make it as much detailed or different directions in parts as I could want, and I think it turned out fairly well as I can still make a little bit of a kind of snow cliff or edge right here or snowbank, I think it would be the word you would use. And then over here is a little bit higher. So this technically should be about the same height as that, as it is a valley that these tanks drive through. But I ended up just doing a little one just to save on parts so I could finish the back one. And it continues down in the back. Now coming on over here. So this is a lot larger, as I said before. So this is about the exact same height as these AATs, as you can see there. You can kind of see the uh, kind of Easter egg back here. We have a loath wolf, kind of pay homage to um, Kanan or Caleb, as that is kind of his force thing in the Rebel show. So figured I'd sneak him back there. He blend in as he is white. And then kind of back here we have a little bit of a path along the edge, kind of where the snow has uh, kind of moved I guess from the trees and whatnot and the grass is where it's more blocked and the snow is more kind of steady I guess. And then we have a little bit of a slope back here right behind uh, the slide where they slide down. And just got some slopes back here and these trees are all the exact same. There are two that are slightly different but for the most part they are all the same and that continues all back here along with the snow. So I tried to make this look like the snow kind of basically falls, kind of make it look like the ground is kind of melted and underneath the melted snow is where the actual uh, dirt road is. 
so you can see there are some still snow spots just like it is in the episode and there are a couple big ones that you can see there and over there so continuing over here you can also find another easter egg so this is pay homage to a uh, a stream right before this was posted um, we had a bunch of guys there, which was pretty fun, and a guy named Tuscan. He, um, him and uh, Scott Davis ended up giving me a bunch of good ideas to finish, kind of tweak and kind of perfect this mock. So I'd like to pay homage to them, as they have a Tuscan Raider with a golden banana just chilling back here. So cool little Easter egg there, and that is about doing it. So I think it's time to hit some scene action shots.
guys hope you guys enjoyed i hope those action shots kind of fulfilled your ambition to see all the different techniques and kind of positions i've oriented it in this mock so i hope you guys enjoyed that as stay tuned till next week for the cinematic episode where i'll be have just still shots and a lot of action reels as well so you have look that to look forward to so other than that that's going to close it out so i want to thank everybody for the support we'll see you in the next one have a good one